Hi, my name is Michael Bang, and I am an international business trainer, and I do seminars all over the world, helping companies and its personnel becoming more successful, not just in your business, but also in your personal life. And today we are going to give you a tip that also can help you become more successful, both in your business and in your personal life. And this is specifically for you, our Vista System Ambassadors, because you are not just our customers, but you are really our partners. So let's go into it. Today's tip. Now, if we take a look at the big picture, we are all living here on planet Earth. We could say we are all human beings from planet Earth. And on this planet, there's one key factor which we all have to learn how to deal with. If we want to be successful, and we talked earlier on success, this is material success and it is non-material success. That means we not just want to become a millionaire. No, we want to be a happy millionaire. It is not the same. So if I want to be a really truly person who enjoy my life, getting all the material things that I want to get. Now, one factor which is in the way, which is preventing me, this has to do with change. Things are always changing. Nothing stays the same. If we look into the world today, of course, technology is changing. We have now computers, we have internet, we have iPhones, etc., which can make things much, much easier. Now, but it opens the door to new opportunities, but also to new difficulties. Now, other changes which we have to deal with, which is in particularly in business, which is competition. Now, for many of us, competition is not easy. And today we have more and more competitors. And we could say we have two types of competitors. We have direct competitors and we have indirect competitors. So if you are selling a science to your clients, this is the other companies who are also selling science, that is your direct competitors. Now your indirect competitors, this is anybody else who is selling any other things who also want money from your clients. Because your clients do not have enough money to give to everybody who wants to get money from them. So these are the companies who maybe want to sell them office supplies, investments, or uh, new furniture, new cars, or whatever they want to sell them. They also want the money from your customers. So we have to learn how do we deal with lots of competitors. And we have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is, this is only the beginning. Competition will get tougher and tougher and tougher every year. Now, the good news is, most of your competitors are not ready for it, but if you're ready for it, you have an advantage over your competitors. Now, another factor which we have to learn how to deal with, it is called crisis. Now, in the world today, we have all kinds of crises. There are, of course, natural crises, which can be hurricanes, tsunamis, etc., volcanoes. Now, we have to also be ready for that. Now, then we have man-made crises. We have pollution today, we have global warming, plus we have economic crises. So this is part of the world of our living in today. We have to learn how to deal with lots of changes, competition, and all kinds of crises. Now, how do we do that? Now, if we go into the world of sport and see how do they deal with this, because sports people or athletes, what are they dealing with all the time? They are dealing with competition. They are all the time going out there competing and competing and competing. So, but what are they doing? They have one key principle. They have to be ready. Now, if they are ready for the game or for the match, let's say you could take a boxer. He often is preparing for three months before he goes into an important fight. Now, and there are three factors which we have to be ready for. And if you prepare for these three factors, you will be ready for any change, any competition, and any crisis. And if we look at these three factors, this is very simple. This is, we have to be ready for anything. 
anywhere and anytime. So if I am ready for anything, anywhere, anytime, then I am ready. Then nothing can surprise me. Then I will never get bad news. I will only get good news because the good news would be if I am prepared and the bad shit doesn't happen, then I have good news. For example, for me personally, when I was young, uh, I was crossing the Atlantic Ocean twice on a sailing boat. This was from the coast of Africa to the Caribbean. And it took us almost 30 days to do one crossing and 30 days to cross back. Now, we spent one month preparing for any possible accident or disaster that could happen. So when it did happen, we were ready for it. Nothing could take us by surprise. So we didn't die. Because when you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and you get hit by a big storm, you better be ready because there's no one there to save you, to take care of you. Now, fortunately, we were ready. That's why I'm still standing here today. But in business and in our private life, we also have to be ready. So when you look into the world of sport, you can take a football team or you can take a hockey team. What do they do all the time? They're all the time training, 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 and they're working with two key factors. They're working with the mentality and they're working with techniques. So mentally, people have to be strong, they cannot be afraid, and they have to believe, I can win, I can succeed. And then technology-wise, how do we actually do it? So in today's tip, what we will recommend you to do, think of yourself in your work, in your company, like, just like a sports team, like you are a hockey team or you are a football team. And as a team, we are playing together and we have to be ready for anything. So what we will recommend you to do, take two pieces of paper. On the first piece of paper here, you write down anything that could happen. Anything that could become dangerous or anything possible could happen. And then on the second piece of paper, you write down, what are we going to do if this happens? So this is, we could say, the problem, and this is the solution. And if you are all the time looking at, okay, this can happen, but I am ready because I have a plan how to deal with this. And in your company, then you use the system of what we call brainstorm sessions, that whatever there is a problem in the company, either you don't have enough clients, you don't have enough money, or not enough profit, or whatever the problem can be, or new competitors, sit down with your team and look at what are the solutions. And here we are brainstorming for any possible idea and just write down all the possible ideas so that you are ready to deal with this. So, my dear, let's say, uh, Vista System partners here today, I hope that this little tip here can help you in mentality-wise Think of it like sport. And the moment you think of your company, your business, your work as a sport, then everything will be a lot easier. Then we're not so tired. We know there will be challenges. We have to get out there. Because if you see a hockey team going into the field or football team, how do they come in? They don't come in very tired. Oh, I don't want to come do today. No, no, they are bubbling of energy. They are ready to fight. And if we have the same mentality at our work, creating this team spirit, then we can survive and we will become successful, both material and non-material. So, this was the tip of today. We hope that this could be a little bit inspiring or helpful to you, because as an ambassador of business, uh, Vista System, you are very important to us. And we want to do everything possible to help you become more successful because when you are successful, then we are successful. So thank you for being our partners and we look forward to see you next time. Again, my name is Michael Bang. So until next time, bye bye.